Hi, welcome to another video on Awkward Hamster. Just before I show the unboxing of the new Stealth Armor from Fusion of Ideas, this is for the iPad 2, 16 gig Wi Fi version. We have the application spray. This is for the screen protector. A microfiber cloth, a squee and a squeegee. These two items and the instructions came in a cleaning kit. First thing is, just before I wipe down the iPad, now I use the microfiber cloth to try to get rid of as much of the dust as I can. Now I'm going to start applying the solution first to my hands just so that the this plastic screen cover won't stick to my hand on the adhes adhesive side. Expose the adhesive side to the top and spray it down with the application solution. The home button holds over here, the camera holds up here. Try to align it and apply this the screen protector to the iPad too. Before I do that, I need to spray some more solutions on my hands. Please remember to first turn off your iPad too. because I should have mentioned that the first thing. Do not spray the solution directly onto the iPad. Probably easier if you try to line the camera hole side, the top side of the iPad first. Just make sure there's enough clearance on each of the edges before you start using the squeegee to remove the water. I like to start from the inside and work my way outward. Keep a tissue in handy nearby and just use it to suck up all the excess water. This screen protector is definitely less rubbery than the Zag Invisible Shield. This is the first time I'm using a product by Fusion of Ideas. In their instructions, they said that the air bubbles will work its way out in about two or three days.
spray some of the solution directly onto the, the shield, the screen protector after it has been applied to the iPad. This will make squeegeeing it easier. I can still see some air bubbles in there, but hopefully it'll work its way out in a few days. Afterward, just use the microfiber cloth to clean the screen. Alright, I've removed all the water and I've tried to get rid of as much of the air bubbles as I can. Now let's power this up. While it's booting, let me just show you the back cover I got. I got a white carbon fiber back protective cover. There's no hole here to show the Apple logo, but I guess I can always put that sticker that came with the iPad too. Unfortunately, that sticker is also white, so that will probably look weird. Okay, everything's responsive. Let's move on to the back piece. First, clean the back. For this application, it might be easier to apply starting from the, this corner here, which is the camera corner. Unlike the screen cover, you do not use the application spray here. First thing I'm trying to do is get the camera, the rocker, the power button, get all that aligned. Ooh, that didn't sound good. take it off before because uh, I, the microphone piece was not aligned. I think I almost got it. In the instructions, it said to take a hair dryer a low setting spray over the protective back cover don't spray at any given spot for too long
not sure if you can see the microphone here. It's almost covered. There. I think it's just on the edge. Let me just look at the instructions again for the heat ap application. Alright, I just happen to have a hair dryer here. Let me just move these paper products to the side. Spray the device in a fanning motion with a hair dryer. I personally, I just set it to the low setting to start fanning it. I was kind of hoping that it will cover the the corners too. It does look strange when just the silver piece sticking out. Well, there you have it. If you haven't seen it yet, tune into my other video. is the unboxing of the Stealth Armor by Fusion of Ideas. This is the white carbon fiber back protective cover. And the total application time, I say about 20 minutes. This is the first time I'm, I'm applying this product. First time purchasing a product from Fusion of Ideas. Thank you for tuning in.